Today I found a very nice add-on, it's called Lily Surface Scrubber. What you can do with that is, for example, you go to a website like cc0textures.com and there you download one a texture and then, for example, you're interested in, let's say, concrete. You copy the URL, copy, go to Blender, and then under the tab, Material tab, you see Lily Surface Scrapper. You click Import Surface, and then you paste the URL, and then you click OK, and then you choose a variant, and in this case, I choose 2K. It's big enough for me. Then it will download uh, all the textures and put them in a node tree in the shader editor. And in this case, it will apply it to season. So that was not my intention to, so I click on, click on the plane, then season. And then I can click, for example, this and do that. So let's give Suzanne also uh, um, a shader. So we go back and we choose something else. Like wood is a good idea. And I like this one. Then I copy the URL again. Go to Blender. Import surface. Paste the URL OK. OK. And then it will download the textures again and apply the material to Suzanne. Next, what you see at the background, uh, that's a backdrop. And the backdrop has a special value. I put there in the value for each RGB 0 0.18. And that is for um, that's for the false color, we can then calibrate our lighting or the exposure so that we have a kind of reference of our albedo values. Because if we go to the Wikipedia website, in Blender we are working with albedo values. And for example, Fresh Snow has an albedo value, value of 0 0.8. This in contrast to some textures, if they picture fresh snow, and often you have a value like 0 0.1 in the texture. So quite often textures are often too bright or there's too much contrast or something else going on. Anyhow, you want to calibrate your textures because they can come from several devices, not a white balance or whatever. Uh, for example, we see here the new concrete as a can have a albedo value of 0 0.55 and worn asphalt 0 0.12, and I did that in Blender as well. So I have here a battle value of 0 0.12 for the worn asphalt. This is again the mid gray, 0 0.18 and new concrete that looks quite bright and it is 0 0.55. Now we have our textures here and let's see uh, we can get an impression if now this texture if it's maybe too bright or not. So I would say it is quite bright. It is somewhere between the mid gray and the new concrete. Um, and maybe I want to have it lower. Often in shaders, I see that they are using brightness contrast. I think that's a bad idea. Uh, you have to be very careful with that because somehow you're mixing up and you can come up with very strange uh, values so I'm very careful with this one I found this is quite safe to use I think I would put this a little bit down something like that 
But then, if you lower the albedo of value, the ratio between specularity and albedo will also be different. Generally, for me, I like to put the specularity a bit down. Some might not agree, but I came to this uh, habit a little bit. And then, in this one, I think I find it too saturated. So I go to U saturation. Turn down a little bit saturation. Yeah, I like this. I like that. So I show you the um, the false color. So you go to this tab, that is the render tab. And then you go to filmic look and then you go to false color no if you transform false color. And you see here the mid gray that has indeed the gray and color. So around this area. What we can do now we can do two things to be sure that mid gray shows up as mid gray in the final scene, or we can play with the exposure, like that. So generally, this seems to be a good value. Or we can also play with uh, our... Uh, with the light lighting. No. Oops. I always forget to turn down the strength and EV. So uh, that's it. So I showed you the add-on uh, Lily Server Scrapper and some tips on how to come to a kind of a consistency when importing uh, textures. All right, thank you for watching.